Now we're getting ready to see a really pretty sunrise. Look how pretty the silhouette looks of the mountains. You've got really pretty skies right now from the Intermountain camera. And it is a warm start, but it actually feels nice. Mid to upper 70s in Salt Lake City, clear skies. And it is breezy, that wind coming from the southeast 13 miles per hour. And you can see across the Wasatch Front, those low to mid 70s, 52 in Park City, a little more comfortable in Provo in the mid 60s, low 60s right now in Brigham City. And you've got 76 on the board in St. George. But we are going to climb fast today. Clear skies and we have dry air that's moving in. So here's the big weather story right now. That high pressure, it is in control. It's really going to warm us up. But we're sandwiched between this system and this trough that's off the Pacific Northwest, the coast of the Pacific Northwest. And so we have that southwesterly flow. It's pulling in dry air. But with that wind um, and the dry conditions, we're going to see high fire danger this afternoon. So I want you to be extra careful. Red flag warnings are in effect for our western deserts and also for the Wasatch Front, parts of the Wasatch Front, through Saturday. So winds coming from the south 10 to 25 miles per hour. It's going to be even windier than yesterday and even warmer. 102 today. So it's going to be a scorching hot day, and it gets warmer this weekend. I'll show you that. Mid-90s in Provo today, 104 on the board in St. George. We don't have any chances for thunderstorms or showers today. So that monsoonal moisture is out of here, and we stay warm overnight, mid-70s, as you wake up tomorrow morning. So let me back things up. St. George, you get hotter tomorrow, 106. You stay pretty close to that on Sunday, but by Monday and Tuesday, my goodness, you climb even more, 108, with lots of sunshine throughout the next seven days. And we are holding on to triple-digit heat in northern Utah, the possibility for uh, breaking a record tomorrow, Saturday, 105. We drop a couple degrees, about seven degrees, Sunday and Monday, so a very slight cool down, still above average. And then we've got uh, the triple digits back Tuesday and Wednesday, so not much of a break from the heat, April.